Right, I'm in my camper van. It's the second day of my trip to Cambridgeshire. I'm in the campsite at St Neots. Yesterday was a good job that I did an awful lot of walking and exploring yesterday in the sunshine. Today it's not stopped raining since about midnight and it's now going on for one o'clock in the afternoon. It's about half twelve. Um, I still intend to go out. I've got my waterproofs. It's, uh, it's supposed to improve a bit this afternoon. Um, and I'm hoping to just nip over to Huntington, which isn't very far away. Doesn't take hardly any time at all on the train. Um, but at the moment, I'm waiting for the showing of the new royal baby, Prince Harry and, and his wife, Megan's baby was born two days ago. They're going to have it on the telly in a minute, apparently. So I thought I'd wait until then, have some lunch, and then I'm going to go out with my umbrella and my waterproof some. Whatever. But uh, it's been a valuable morning in. It's given me a chance to rest a bit because it is pr hectic. It was a five, six hour journey. It took me two hours to sort the laptop out, which has got all sorts of issues, because it isn't mine. Well, it is mine. It has been given to me. Um, but uh, I don't use it very often, so it had to be updated and all sorts of things I had to do with it. Um, I slept really, really well. I've made friends with a, a nice, friendly-looking spider that lives up there. I've taped him in so he can't keep... He can't fall on my head exactly. I call him Charlie. Um, what happens with Charlie is he's quite happy to stay in there because this is like a web for him. And he traps his creatures on that web. He lives up there. He looks friendly, so I've called him Charlie and I talk to him. And he could get in here if he wanted to, but he uses this as a web. See? But there is, there is a wacky great hole there. I just don't want him falling on my head when I'm cooking my food. So, we've got uh, Theresa May on the telly. Um, talking about Brexit. Question time. Um, this, I'm not showing you all the camper at the moment. It's very untidy. I've still got my bed up. <laughs> it's very untidy. I haven't got much room to move, actually, because I've got the bed up. Um, so I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't really show you it all, I can, I'll, I'll show you, look, it's really untidy at the moment, but it's wet and horrible out, it's really, really horrible, to be quite honest, the weather, but uh, it's not going to stop me, of course, I've needed this morning to sort myself out, um, so that's okay, I'll put all my waterproofs on in a minute and I'll go out after I've seen the baby this is Sheila in Cambridgeshire on a family tree trip over and out Congratulations. Thanks for taking the time out. I know you guys are, are must be really, really busy, but um, um, Megan, can you tell us what's it like becoming a new mum and tell us a little bit about baby Sussex, as we're calling it? <laughs> um, it's magic. It's pretty amazing. And I mean, I have the two best guys in the world, so I'm really happy. Tell us a little bit about um, your son. What's, what's he like? Is he, is he sleeping well? Good baby? Yes. He has the sweetest temperament. He's really calm and um mm, he <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And he's been he's just been the dream, so it's been a special couple days. Who does he take after? Does he look like anyone? We're still trying to figure that out. Well, everyone says the baby's changed so much over two weeks. We're basically monitoring how the uh, how the changing process happens over this next month really. <laughs> 
it's changing, his looks are changing every single day. Yeah. So, who knows? And how you find parenting generally? What's it? Is it still a special moment? Yeah, it's great. I mean, parenting is amazing. It's it's only been what two and a half days, three days. Yeah. Um, but we're just we're just so thrilled to have have our own little bundle of joy um, and be able to spend some precious times with him as he slowly slowly starts to grow up. <laughs> and um, I hate you're not you're off to see two special people in the minutes. Yes. Um, the Queen and, and the Duke. Yes, and we just bumped into the Duke as we were walking by, which was so nice. So um, it'll be a nice moment to introduce the baby to more family, and my mom's with us as well. So it's uh, it's been a really here we go. Another, another great grandchild. Another yes. Can <laughs> we have a little peek? It just can't quite see his face. Mm -hmm. Wow. He's already got a little bit of facial hair as well. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you all so much. much. Thank, you. thank you. And thank you everybody for all the well wishes and the kindness. Mm -hmm. It's really it just means so much. So baby Sussex presented to the world for the first time and behaving impeccably there, sleeping through all of that. Uh, his uh, parents saying that he has the sweetest temperament, uh, really calm. They say he's been a dream uh, in these first couple of uh, days. And I think we can show you uh, a still photo of the baby's face, a, a better chance for you to see this little boy as yet unnamed. Well. Probably with the name, but we don't know it yet. We're still waiting to find out his name. And Prince Harry uh, saying he is so thrilled that they have their own little bundle of joy. Our correspondent Helena Wilkinson here, still with me at Windsor. Helena, I think they looked a little tired, a mm -hmm. little, you know, overawed, but obviously incredibly happy. Uh, as any new parents are. I'm very lucky that the baby was sleeping, sound asleep in uh, Prince Harry's arms. Um, that was much more low key, wasn't it, than as we spoke about earlier compared to how uh, Catherine and William came out to hundreds of reporters outside the Lindo wing after they gave birth uh, to, uh, Catherine gave birth to their three children. Um, this was uh, in uh, one of the main rooms in Windsor Castle, St George's Hall. Uh, this is a hall where they hold two state banquets every year. Uh, and don't forget, it's the place where the couple had their wedding reception nearly a year ago. And also Prince Charles and Camilla had their uh, reception there. But it was fairly understated, wasn't it? Apart from the room being very well, grand. Well, yes, they... I was just going to say, I mean, uh, the, the room is incredibly grand, not intimate, really grand. But uh, I can imagine how impressive this will look, especially to those audiences over in the States. Yes, and that picture of the baby is going to be beamed across the world. You can guarantee that that is going to be on the front page of most newspapers tomorrow morning um, and the couple yes they were looking uh, fairly tired but also very happy prince harry there holding the baby wrapped in a white blanket uh, and a little hat on him and looking incredibly pleased what was lovely was that megan said uh, we know that they're going to meet the queen and the duke of edinburgh uh, fairly shortly uh, in fact they may be meeting them now uh, but megan uh, said that they had bumped into the duke of edinburgh <laughs> on their way in so uh, but but more of an uh, official as you, do, reason, as you do as you do in a castle <laughs> uh, and perhaps uh, some speculation that perhaps once uh, this new eighth great grandchild for the queen and the duke of edinburgh has been introduced uh, to his great grandparents that perhaps then his name might be revealed but we don't know that for sure yet do we we don't know. Uh, you'll remember on Monday, uh, Prince Harry came out and gave that uh, unexpected um, comments after the baby was born. He came out absolutely delighted, didn't he? But at that stage, he said actually was still trying to um, figure out a name. As, and as any parent knows, choosing a name is difficult. Um, trying to agree between yourselves on a name is very difficult as well. So uh, we may hear the name once they have had that meeting, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, once they meet uh, baby Sussex, as we uh, call the baby at the moment. But we, we expect to hear uh, the name a bit later on. But in terms of what they choose for the name, 
lots of different options, of course. We, we've been having a little bit of fun with this today, haven't we? Looking at some of the names that are being suggested, what the uh, the royal history of each individual name is, etc. Helena, do you want to give the facts? I know you've been giving. Uh, no, so no, we've got. Go so, ahead. So okay. <laughs> um, so we've got Alexandra as a favourite. Um, that that uh, appears to come out uh, on top at the moment. Of course, uh, the baby's cousin. Uh, has uh, the na as a middle name uh, Alexander, so that's a favourite. We've got Albert, of course, that is Prince Harry's one of his middle names. Uh, Henry Charles Al Albert David, uh, Arthur, of course, uh, another favourite as well. Will they go for a traditional first name? We will have to wait and see. Will they uh, nod towards uh, Meghan's American? Uh, she is American, of course. Will mm. they choose a name that reflects that? We will have to wait and see. Very possibly, although that's much harder to guess at, isn't it? And also.